Hi guys, so as requested, here is a video on how I revise. Definitely different to my usual vlogs, but hopefully some of you guys find this useful. So to begin with, I'm going to talk about maths. My top two favorite resources would be Math Genie and the GCSE Math Tutor on YouTube. So on Math Genie, you can access a bunch of past papers. They have the mark scheme, the works example, and even a video going along with it. I find past papers to be the best way to practice and familiarize yourself with the type of questions you're going to get asked. And I do loads of these. Thankfully, my teacher prints out loads of them because I can't print them out myself. Or if you have an iPad, you can load it on there, press the little share button at the top, and then open in GoodNotes if you have the app, of course, and then import to a new document and work on it there. And I find this way really helpful. As well as on the website, they have the questions by topic, which are categorized in the different grades. So you can focus on what topics you're struggling with. For the GCSE Math Tutor, I find it to be a good YouTube channel. They have videos that are specifically for the harder questions. An alternative resource that I don't really use that much, if at all, is Cognito. They have this website where you can pick the topics and it will generate questions. But with this means that the questions kind of stay at a basic level and it's really repetitive and it's basically the same thing over and over again. But it might be useful for some people. They do have a YouTube channel where they post math videos. They're okay, not my favourite but a lot of my friends do like them. Also, I thought I'd mention this website called Exam Q. It's literally a website that has all of the questions that I've ever been asked in GCSE, I'm pretty sure. And you can obviously filter it for what you want, whether it's calculator or non-calculator. It shows you the mark scheme, which sometimes it can be hard to read if you don't know where it is you went wrong within the question. In that case, it tells you what paper it's from and you can go Math Genie and look at the worked out answer for that paper. And I think the best thing is that you can filter for like the different levels of the questions from it being the easiest to the hardest. I want to use this website, I utilize this feature and go through a bunch of the harder questions. In terms of progress, I think this was at the start of year 10. I was stuck around a high 6, low 7 and I had done an exam previous to this and I got four more. So when I did this exam, I dropped down four marks. But my teacher knows how hard I am about my score, hence him saying it's a good score. Not really what I want to be getting in the real thing, but it's okay for this point in time. Fast forward to the end of year 10, I ended up getting an 8+. plus With the grade boundary they assess a lot of our tests on, that would be a 9. So you can see it's quite a big jump in literally a year. And as of right now, I'm on high eights, low nines. So next up is RE, probably one of my least favorite subjects, but it's slowly making its way up because my grades are slightly getting better. For reference, in my year 10 marks, I got a five. <laughs> then in my January marks, it was Judaism and I got a seven. And my March marks, it was Catholic Christianity and I got an eight. So how I revise this is purely making flashcards. I can't make notes for this type of subject because it's just a lot of writing and it doesn't really get into my head. So the website slash app that I use is Study Smarter. It is the best one out there in comparison to Quizlet or Note or whatever. So I make them on my computer. I use them on my phone. I've made all my flashcards for Judaism, Catholic Christianity, and today I finished Philosophy and Ethics. When you make a flashcard set, you can make subsets to split up the topics or you can just use tags. So especially if it's like before an exam, you want to make sure you remember your sewers. You can just filter for the sewers and just jog your memory. And where I get my information from, at my school, they give us these like booklets filled with a bit too much information. Like it's just pure waffle. So I have to go in with a highlighter and highlight what's actually necessary along with watching these videos from this guy called has revision he makes summary videos or which are very helpful because i can kind of see what the basic information i need to know is and then just kind of add more information by looking at the booklet i'm provided with from school unfortunately i think he made a video like three years ago and then didn't do any videos for philosophy and ethics next up is geography so to revise this, I do it kind of in a similar way. I use the same website, I make my flashcards, but my flashcards are very lengthy. I did initially make notes for the subject for like living world, resource management and stuff like that. But then it just started getting a bit too much and I felt like the best way for me personally was to 
write kind of model answers at first it was just typed out in good notes but then i transferred it onto flashcard obviously i don't expect myself to learn the flashcards like word by word but as long as i get the general grasp of it that's all i'm looking for how to find model answers is by searching up my revision notes it is called exam practice and they have answers and questions and stuff like that and i kind of use that to base what information i need to know but where i get the bulk of my information is from the cgp book it's the only cgp book i've purchased and i love it i stopped using the actual book instead i use the code in the front and just use it online so that's what i do for that next up my favorite subject science with my top favorite resources being bbc bite size cgp books and cognito before year 10 i literally despise science with a passion I started taking revision into my own hands because I had to revise for these end of topic tests and I came across Cognito and his videos are so short and well explained and it's just brilliant that suddenly I was getting nines and I've been getting nine nines since then. But because they're so short sometimes you might want a bit more information so it's probably good to pair it with either BBC Bite Size or CGP books. The only reason I have access to a CGP book is because my friend let me use the code inside of hers to access the online version which I'm very grateful for but if you can't what I did is I went on the internet archive and I'd borrow it for an hour and just screenshot all the pages I needed because in my mock revision list it told me the exact pages I needed and then I'll return the book and you can do this once every hour. For my year 10 mocks I rely specifically on making notes because the act of making notes kind of ingrained the information into my mind but if I wanted a way to practice using the information then I'd search for these twinkle revision mats and then whatever topic pdf and it will have these questions and I'd fill them out on good notes it will have the answers on the next page. Another thing is if you make your notes in good notes then you can add the page to outline and give it a title and then when you look at each title try and like verbally recall what you wrote down because i make it all aesthetic and with fun colors certain words and stuff like that kind of pop out to me and it makes it easier for me to remember it as of now and for my mark since i made most of my notes already i rely on making flashcards because they are really helpful for me now I've done all the topics in biology except ecology, almost all of chemistry and almost all of physics. And lastly, Spanish. I'm not the greatest. I do get sevens, which is all right. I'm pretty happy with it. I suck at listening and I'm way stronger at reading. For revising general conversation, in my school, they gave us like a booklet with all the questions for each topic that they'll ask you because they're not really going to change that much for the real thing. They might just word it differently. And then I made my model answers which is like three to five sentences for the role play keep it short and simple if it asks for two details only give two details for the photo card give about three points for each question but make sure your verbs and tenses are correct and for the unseen questions on the photo card i don't know what to tell you because when i did mine I literally could not answer the second unseen and i got like no marks but i only dropped one or two marks on the whole thing so it was okay and then for reading what i do is my teacher gave me this like booklet of a bunch of vocab that i need to know and i just go down it and then highlight the ones i don't know cover up my hand check if i can remember it and just keep doing that over and over again or you could obviously make that into flashcards that would work but yeah just familiarize yourself with the vocab i'm assuming it would have increased by the time i post but thank you guys so much for 8k i try my best to post on the weekend um saturday or sunday if i'm on time a video will be out at 6 p.m if it's not up by 10 it will be up the next day so <laughs> um i'm trying to be very consistent guys bye bye